Hey there, all you cool cats and kittens out there. This is Carol Baskin from Big Cat Rescue. Or you might know me as Carol fucking Baskin. Carol fucking Baskin. Whatever happened to her, she was on Dancing with the Stars, but I did hear that she left the trail of sardine oil <laughs> and then she fucking disappeared just like her ex-husband. Doesn't it seem like like after Halloween, pumpkin flavors, so pumpkin spice, and pumpkins themselves, just pumpkins in general, are told to fuck off for another year. It's past Halloween, fuck off, you pumpkin spice, you pumpkin flavors, and pumpkins. Nobody cares about you anymore. We'll see you next year. <laughs> Not only am I famous now, I'm fucking rich, I'm sexy as hell, I'm doing backflips everywhere. I used to go to Thornton's to fuel up my car. Now I just carry two 10-gallon gas cans doing backflips the whole way. And then I fill up the two gas cans and I do backflips all the way home just so I could fuel up my car. I don't drive to Thornton's anymore. I'm doing backflips. When I go to get the mail, I'm doing backflips. I made eggs and bacon the other day. I was doing backflips while I was fucking making breakfast. I feel that good. I was putting on my shoes the other day doing backflips. I woke up in the middle of the night. I went to take a piss. I did a fucking backflip. We're going to channel a little bit of uh, Alex Jones here, and we're going to talk about those chai comms, those Democrat chai comms that are destroying our country, destroying our nation, and taking us down one by one. We got lack of freedom of speech. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. All right, let me, let me back up a bit. Do you really believe that you're going to be seeing peace? Hey, who knows? I'm not Nostradamus, you know? I don't know what the fuck's going to go on, but... There's going to there's, there's gonna be a shitstorm coming. Oh, shit. Everybody, keep your goddamn calm. Keep your goddamn paws cool, motherfucker. Stay cool, bitch. Say, bitch, be cool. For the past seven days, I'm like, I'm going to take 30 days of not drinking. I feel like I've been drinking a little bit too much lately. Honestly, I started to feel like I was like, and I've been here before, you know, starting to roll into a downward spiral slowly, slowly. And we can't deny the fact that alcohol is a depressant, right? It, it, you can't deny that it has some sort of psychological, uh, physical, and emotional effect on your system, especially in a little bit too much of excess. Uh, so we got to recognize that. There's two things that you can do. You can either make excuses and say, well, I've had a good day, I've had, so I'm going to have a drink. I've had a bad day, so I'm going to have a drink. You know, this e-learning shit is terrible, so daddy's going to have a beer, mommy's going to have a glass of wine, and we're going to go upstairs and just for the next eight and a half minutes and bang one out real quick and then come back down. Hopefully everybody's relaxed. <laughs> is that how your relationships go? See, I'm, I'm so out of tune with relationships. I feel like that's how it should go but i feel like that's not the way that it actually goes now by friday though after this job and raps are frustrating so it tests my patience and by the time anytime i do a rap job that's one of the first things i want to do is like go home and get the especially on a friday go home get this party started crack open a beer uh, i got some work done feeling good and uh, it's just a stress reliever. So right now my brain is in full force trying to trick me into thinking I need to be rewarded again. The voice turns from a good-hearted persuasive means like it did on you know Thursday, like, come on, man, you can have a beer, to a possessed demon-like creature. Come on, you pussy. You've earned this. You can just have one. What's the big deal? Come on, you booze. You booze dog you lion face dog face pony soldier you fucking booze bag you can do this do it and through that whole story i know you're asking yourself what's next in line for dan and his joe dirt feel good story well the sky's the limit and i'm gonna take every one of you booze bags with me so there's nothing left for me to just sit back and let the money roll in. That's how it works, right? I got 30 views. Come on, where's my paycheck? I'm putting content out there. This is taking a lot of time. Uh, just kidding, it's all free. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. 
I just started out doing nothing. I actually listened back to some of my old episodes. It was difficult. My ears started bleeding. I couldn't take it. So I just got to keep on, keep on going because this ain't no fucking TikTok. This takes work. So I have to say it, it is quite exhausting being this famous. If there's anything, that would be the only thing on my headstone. Here lies a YouTuber, a YouTuber, not even anything specific, just a YouTuber. That's enough. That's the, the YouTuber fame, man. That's what I got. I got that clout. I got one video. It's got 30 views. Taking that fucking YouTuber fandom all the way to the bank. Where's my check? Where's my money? If you're in dire straits and you need some freeze-dried goods, like I got some freeze-dried strawberries, man. You need some freeze-dried chili, Mac? I got that. I got you. Okay, this is eight servings. What you got? You got bullets? <laughs> so let's just bow our heads and have a moment of turkey prayer. Amen. And that's the sacrifice that I make for this stuff, man. That's the sacrifices I make for creativity. That's the sacrifices I make to try and put out continually better content for you. It's not for me. It's for you. It's not me. It's you. And the level fives, it's a little bit more serious. Well, the level fives, they don't make it. But it's a love story because they don't make it together. If you're negative, then a message just pops up that says... Come back when you're COVID positive, you loser. Hi, Mom. Hope you enjoy the episode. She's probably not the biggest fan of the show because of my potty mouth, but she is my favorite fan. So last Friday, I was high as fuck. Sorry, Mom. There's so many people on this planet. Not to say that we need to depopulate or anything. Maybe not a bad idea, Bill Gates. We are a species of creation. We want to create. And once we create, there's more. There's always more and more, and we're a species of more. 